Alright, so welcome into Astroboden. Uh, so you might ask yourselves, what am I doing with a head on the table? More specifically, the CGX mount head and in a somewhat decapitated form. Yeah. So this is actually the reason why we have this YouTube channel in the first place. Yeah, I bought this mount uh, about some two, three years ago, I think. <clears throat> and I had issues straight away. And in the process of solving it, I made a little YouTube channel so I could privately share the uh, my issues with uh, and describe the issues with the uh, Celestron's technical support team. And that worked out fairly well. <clears throat> but then, uh, since the issue wasn't really resolved, I opened up the uh, videos publicly so that other people could come with inputs. So anyway, it resulted in me doing like a hypertune myself and <clears throat> since then it was actually working really well and I've been using it happily for, well, until just recently, uh, which now is about almost a year ago, <clears throat> when it just died on me from one night to the other. Uh, so we're going to take a little look at what happened there and maybe someone knows and can can give me a uh, help in hand in full finding it. Uh, so we'll we'll take a look at that, but yeah, there's pieces here that's missing because they're used elsewhere in a much greater purpose, I think. So right, just uh, just take a look here at what's going on with this. Maybe I'll fix it. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll use it. We'll see. Yeah, that's it. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I got CGX mount back inside here, next to the CGM, like it was before. Not for the same reason though. No, actually, it's been performing quite well for the last um, uh, year or two. Yeah, I did my own little, well, not really hyper tuning, but I I took it apart and and cleaned it, all the gears and greased them up, some lithium grease and. Uh, yeah, retighten things and all that, so it's been performing quite well. Yeah, but and it was performing quite well uh, yesterday, uh, two days ago. Uh, so I packed it up yesterday, and um, yeah. So uh, yesterday evening I was gonna I had a surprise. Well, uh, <clears throat> nice weather, so I was gonna use it. And as soon as I powered it on, um, the right ascension started slewing at um, top speed west. And the hand control said no response 17. Yeah, just turn it off immediately. And uh, yeah, powered it back on again. And it said yeah, same thing. It didn't slew the motors then, <clears throat> but it said uh, no response 17. And it's pretty hard to see what the hand control is saying in the cold, but it did say. I uh, managed to read out that if I wanted to continue, I was going to press back. So I did, and then it said no response 16. Keep pressing back. <clears throat> I came to a point where it said advanced GT, uh, and it prompted me to do the star alignment. Yes. And once it, I initialized it to start the star alignment, it just said please wait or something. Uh, one moment. So got it inside. It's been overnight. Heat it up. So I'm just gonna turn it back on again and see what happens. Yeah. Powers on. Verifying packages. Please wait. Initialize. So do we see this? No response. Seventeen. Uh, invalid mode model. Cycle power or press back to continue. Some features will not work properly. Yeah, so that's what I have. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I have power cycle already. So I'm just pressing back and then we see no response 16. So I'm pressing back to continue and then it says advanced GT. Yeah, <clears throat> press enter to begin alignment. Let's do that. Set to index, and if it, this was not the, uh, if this was the um, C gem, I would have to set this to the um, 
like index positions. So I'm just going to pretend that that's what I have here. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's moved there. I'm just going to press enter. So time of day. Let's just do this properly. Ten okay. Let's do two star alignments. Then it says one moment. So this was looking like a normal um, star alignment till this point. And it just says no mo one moment. <sighs> so let's just wait for for one moment, and then we mm, hit uh, no response sixteen. <clears throat> and now I've read up on uh, Celestron's website about this. And no response seventeen is uh, referring to the right ascension motor. No response sixteen is referring to the declination motor. So, um. When you start up, you get no response 17, like it's the right ascension motor then. And after alignment, you get no response 16, like it's the declination motor. <clears throat> it could also, of course, be the hand control. That doesn't work properly. Uh, so, uh, what I actually thought was, I'm going to see if I could use the C-Gems control of this. Just like here. I mean, it's going to be like... Um, um, yeah, like uh, wrong model, some features might not be available, blah blah, etc. etc. But if it, the control actually works, it could move them out, and then I could verify if it's the next star plus hand control that's bad. So that's what I'm gonna do. <coughs> I turn that off, plug you out. So let's have a look. If you fit in here, what you do, okay. Fire back up. So this is actually still next stop plus hand control. So on this one, still no response 17. So looking at this, I think it's something inside here then, since two completely separate modes get the same response or lack of response from the mount. Right, so that's that part of the troubleshooting. Done. Right, so I just um, have the circuit board uh, plugged out. <clears throat> There's no sign of any burned pins or anything else, as far as I can tell. Um, right, so uh, just to um, evolve on this fault finding here. So what I did do there, which is not in the video, was that I jacked out the grey, like wider connector. A great ca round cable with a wider connector that's on the MCU board here. And uh, that is, uh, as far as I could tell, to the sensors, like the switch positions and, and end stop sensors in both motors here. And uh, so I janked that out and turned it on again. And then it did say, like, uh, go to switch positions, uh, like it normally do. And if you say yes there, the motor starts slewing at full speed, like. Uh, Right ascension went west full speed, like it did when I powered up once. And uh, since there's nothing telling it to stop, I just turn the power off. But it tells you that the motors are working, and uh, so that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, also points towards the sensor line issue. Yeah, <clears throat> it does say invalid model, so it could be that it needs the sensor uh, information to know which model it is, and like it's, uh, it's CGX mount, etc. However, when I was uh, doing that, I felt the uh, temperature on the uh, controller was really, really hot. So uh, it kind of made me think, like, okay, maybe it is the MCU that is bad, but anyway. <clears throat> and I did continue to check the cables, and I thought, oh, well, they looked all right. Yeah, I could, could see continuity through. So I felt, okay, fuck it, it, it's, it could be the MCU. So I found one from Deep Space products, and I ordered one, and I got it, and I replaced it, and it's still the same fault. Right, so here we are again, uh, with the mount head slightly dissected. Uh, we got uh, <coughs> uh, the, the top cover with the motor control unit uh, here, and the new one that I've got from Deep Space products. 
So what I'm going to do here is what I did once I got this in here uh, last spring. I'm going to plug in the power. And uh, one of the things they say here about the um, non-response errors is that uh, the hand control doesn't ha uh, is missing. Yeah. It's a lack of connection to the electronic boards inside the mount, which would be this one. And then 17 is referring to the declination, and 16 is referring to the right ascension. Uh, and uh, as I've shown, uh, there is no uh, the hand control is not the fault. And since I've changed the um, electronic board out, and it's the same fault, it's not the electronic board or the connection or the, the um, yeah the like the um, connectors or anything like that it's not the controller it's not yeah so that should be should be fine now um so what i'm going to do now i'm going to turn this on yeah so now i'm saying verifying packages please wait initialize no response 70 just like before yeah and if we press back here we get to um, no response 16 and then we can go back and it's advanced GT, etc. So pretty much like we had before. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to turn this off, and then I'm going to do something a bit funny here. I'm going to take this cable here, and this is the cable. If I can get this out, with uh, for the sensors for these <coughs> sensors here. And this is for the right ascension, is the end stop and switch position sensors. And what it is, is basically photo micro switches. Right ascension has got two of them. Uh, and it's got this little uh, ring like um, uh, board on it that as the axle rotates, this little uh, ring is going to cover up or cut the light between the photo diode and the photo transistor in this little device yeah and that will as it covers up it will um, <coughs> open the uh, transistor and the um, uh, declination is the same but it's got to uh, uh, one extra uh, photo micro switch uh, so it's got three of them, <coughs> while the right ascension only has got two. But the boards the same or the are identical. Otherwise, it's an old 300 grev C in this case. Yeah. <coughs> so now I plug that out, and we're going to turn this on. See what happens. Verify packages. Please wait. Initializing CGX ready, and then straight to uh, RA switch fail. Press back to continue. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to do that. CDX ready. Press enter to begin alignment. Okay then. Set switch positions. <clears throat> so what it says here is uh, press back, uh, let it cycle through. Press enter to move to switch positions back to accept current as switch position so i'm just going to press enter here for this to move to the switch position so what happened now is that immediately it wants to move the axis both of them so i better click them out because right now there's not connected to anything so you can't you won't know um, where it is yeah uh, but the motors work and um, so yeah that's a bit interesting and this sensor is not just to these I think the, the uh, motors also have a little like a same type switch to uh, keep track on the motor revelations here so anyway uh, that was a bit interesting I thought so you turn this off and now I'm gonna plug this back in. So what I'm doing now basically, I've gone through this sequence where I had the power on uh, without that sensor cable connected up and the motors could actually start moving. <coughs> so 
you know, actually accepted the fact that um, it was a CGX mount, and but there was something wrong with the um, RA and deck switch um, sensors, but it could still initiate motion to start trying to find them. Uh, but now I've plugged it back in. I haven't unplugged the power. I haven't allowed it to discharge in any way, really. So now I'm going to turn this back on again. And immediately, before it even starts to say anything, Bright Ascension is performing some strange, sick little dance here. Yeah. And then it starts moving. That's a bit random, yeah? <clears throat> says no response 17 yeah there we are also what I can say is that uh, when I inspected these is that the um, yeah, so this board has got some some little um, components on them I don't know what, exactly what they do I guess some kind of buffer circuit or uh, <clears throat> uh, some other interface circuit towards the or maybe a driver circuit for these um, photo micro switches um, but they all get really hot on the right ascension. Not so much on the declination, yeah? That is not too bad. Also, on declination, if I measure the uh, voltage drop across the photodiode, uh, it is about 0.6 volts, yeah? That doesn't sound reasonable. And this, if it's turned on the supply voltage across the diode and the little current limiting resistor there, it's about 3.3 .3 volts on the um, declination. <clears throat> yeah, so that doesn't sound, un I mean, unreasonable. On the right ascension, on the other hand, the voltage drop across the diode <clears throat> is about 0.1 volts in both directions. Yeah, that is a very sick little diode. <clears throat> and the supply voltage uh, between the, over the diode and that little resistor is 0.2 volts. Yeah. So, there's something seriously wrong there, and I don't really want to do this test too much because, uh, or any more actually, because um, this cable with a sensor is patched down to this board, yeah, and then from there it's patched up to that board, and possibly to the any other motors as well. So I don't know if this does anything. I don't know if it's going to cause any damages to um the other ends here. I mean this gets supply voltage so that might be okay but I don't know if it if these buffer circuits or drive circuits is going to um, uh, yeah cause any damages to the motor control board so <clears throat> that's it really. Um, so what I've done here is I have actually ordered um, one more right ascension board and one declination board yeah so it took me about three months to get the motor control board and uh, so I don't have any high hopes to get this these replacements uh, before Christmas or within the <clears throat> next couple of months here so we'll see when I ever I can get the chance to test this and move on with this troubleshooting but that's where we are now uh, I've got a plan and uh, I'll get a suspect here so I'll start changing that one and see how things work uh, if it still complains about the um, non-response 17 and it will be that one <clears throat> i guess right so that's that um fault finding part uh, uh over it's not done yet and uh, we're still working on it uh, so i'll keep you guys posted if i find anything useful if you have any suggestions or ideas then just keep them coming yeah i'm all ears but as i mentioned there's a piece missing here yeah so what we're going to do next is to check up where that went. Yeah. So we're going to leave this dead paperweight for something that is a lot more live and kicking. Yeah. So till next time, may the dark side be with you. Let me be the shadow.